The other thing that you're going to think through is how you bring your lesson off of the page. Okay? So you got this awesome lesson plan now. Everyone is really excited about it. You showed it to your professor and they're like, yeah, you're going to crush it. You're going to be great. You show it to your friend. She's not a teacher. She doesn't really know. But she says, OK, I trust you. You're really fired up about it. You're going to think about how you're going to take that plan and actually make it actionable. So you're going to bring pre-made visuals. I can't tell you how happy it made me when someone would come for their demo lesson and they had their little piece of paper and they had their little tape in their bag and instead of writing out this chart, not that you all are judging me and my beautiful handwriting, but they just put that right on the board, I knew that that teacher meant business and so did the students, right? Because the objective is then posted, so no one has a question about what you're accomplishing in the next 15 or 20 minutes. You have a place to write the answers that the students call out to you, and then you have a way to archive that learning for later. Right? So think about how you can do that ahead of time. You also don't know what the room is going to look like, so having something that you could just slap onto whatever surface is going to reduce your stress um, in a huge way. You're also going to think about how to avoid just a standard worksheet that you just printed offline or copied out of a book that you have. You're going to put your own spin on it. So maybe you're taking the same questions right, that you already have, but maybe you've pre-populated the date or maybe pre-populated the grade. Whatever it is to make it unique and show that you think through those types of details is going to be very important. All right. And then the last thing is you're going to want to keep time. So 15 or 20 minutes in front of a group of middle schoolers is a blink of an eye. And you want to know what the time is. You don't want that person in the back of the room to be the one to tell you that your time is up and you haven't made it to the assessment yet. All right. We live in a modern time where most of us don't have a wristwatch, but we have a phone. So just switch your phone to airplane mode. Use that as a timer. That's fine. Set the timer on your phone. Hit start before you begin. That's all fine, whatever your process is. But make sure that you're keeping time and holding to it. So when the student tells you about that time he went to his grandma's house and it was snowing, um, you can help things stick to your plan. <laughs>